Another great use of the Motul Slacker is to see compression wise, what does it do in terms of travel? Now we've got to be quick with our eyes doing this. I've taken all the compression out. I know where it was, but I've taken it all out. So we want to see how much travel we can generate with a set amount of energy that I can replicate in a second. So 32, 34, 30, 32, 28. So 34 to 28, split it in the middle, 33. Compression's wide open, and that's a fair amount of energy that I'm putting into the bike. So how effective is our compression? Well, let's take a look. We're gonna close it all the way and bring it back one click from closed. Now with exactly the same energy and enthusiasm, let's see what we can get out of the travel. So, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty to twenty-six, three. So 23, a lot of difference, 23 to 33, that's 10 millimeters of travel that we cannot access with our own upper body strength trying to push. So we get a value here for compression damping that from maximum to minimum, there's the potential for 10 millimeters of travel being lost. Now you still have to get on the bike, you still have to ride the bike and see what that will give you. Now, obviously, very few people are gonna do a conservative ride test of riding with zero, put a zip tie on the left leg, because in this case, it's the compression leg, and ride it normally with no compression damping. Because you've gotta ride at 75%, so you're well within yourself and comfortable. Then, putting it all the way to maximum and coming back five clicks, do the same road, the same way, with the same speed. That's your even to even test. What will be really in interesting is here, I can simulate a 10 millimeter loss. On the road, it would be very interesting, very interesting to see if we could get a 10 min millimeter differential between compression all the way open and compression five clicks from closed and see if there's a correlation. So the Motul could give us some really good data points there of what you can generate statically versus what you can generate dynamically during the ride. If you can do that in the front, you can do that in the back. So the other great piece there is effectiveness of what you have on your bike at that time from the manufacturer, or if it's been revalved, can you generate the same degrees of movement under braking and then acceleration? So, another interesting use for the Motul Slacker to assess the range of compression valving and effectiveness of movement from zero to maximum.